order of what is. I am that which is, and have been since we were created. In any city, in any country, you can go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. Once there, you will ask to see the holder of what is. The attendant will not move, and neither will you, if you wish to keep your eyes. You will stay here in this position for three hours. People will come to speak with the attendant, and you will ignore them, as they will you. The attendant will not speak or move, and the others will get their information as usual. After three hours of not existing, the attendant will give to you an old, rusted key. You may hold it, but do not look at it, seeker. If you do look at it, it will burn its way into your hand as an additional digit, and you will feel its pain, and the pain of everyone else who held it, until your demise is met. Should you not look at it, you may turn to face the pair of elevators that was not there before. Stand before the elevator that calls to you. If you cannot hear the beckoning, then you do not deserve to claim me, as described by my holder. I am that which is, and have been since we were created, and I will not join them or be destroyed by your hands. However, if you can hear the sweet song of my holder's many voices, then you will know which elevator to open. The key will only open one, and will break if the wrong one is chosen. Once inside, do not press any buttons, or activate any switches. The elevator will fade around you, and you will be alone. You will know what solitude we have been in for so long. Here is where your challenge lies, seeker. Here is where your path will split into two, with one leading to a pain that your mind can't comprehend. Hopefully, you will choose the correct path, as I do not enjoy this seclusion. Step forward into the stark abyss. You will not be able to see ground, but it is everywhere, for it is of my holder's making. You may not shout or whisper your question, for your lips will be sealed and your throat cut. You shall not write or mime your question, as your hands and feet will dissipate. You will simply think with a clear mind. What exists in them? Should the dark world around you stand its ground, then you may run if you want. You won't get very far before the ground beneath you is no longer a ground, but a mass of teeth, glass, metal, and all things putrid. Should the dark simplify and form into what you perceive as a marble statue with not a set of eyes, a set of ears, or a nose, then you may weep softly out of pity. This is the holder of what is, and he has never seen what is, or what isn't. He has never seen or felt anything in any way. Weep out of pity, or you will take his place and forget all of what is and what isn't. Repeat your question in the same fashion as before. My holder will open his stone mouth and speak to you as if you were nothing, as well as everything. He will tell you the history of what has existed. He'll whisper what is and always was in us. He'll shout what isn't, and what never was. If your mind should sustain this information, then I admire you, seeker. Upon his final words, my holder will falter and crack. Finally, he will destruct. When this happens, you may walk to where he was, and see what is. Embrace me, seeker, for we are together. I am an object of the 2538. You may wear me, eat me, inject me, put me away, or take me with you. For I am that which is, and have been since we were created.